At number 1. The Pragmatic Programmer is a gem of a book about software engineering by Andrew Hunt and David Thomas. The knowledge in this book applies to all programming languages, as this book is not about any particular programming language. At number 2. Written by Robert C. Martin, this is a classic book on software craftsmanship. Ever looked at someone's code and went oh my god, what is this? Rest assured, that someone hasn't read clean code. An epic book on software craftsmanship, which not only the book tells you how to write good code, but also an effective way to develop and approach software development. It will instill within you the values of a software craftsman and make you a better programmer but only if you work at it. At number 3. Again, this is another programming book from Robert C. Martin. It is recommended that you read this book after Clean Code. While Clean Code is about the code, this is about the coder. You may not always agree with certain sections given by the author but it does provide good food for thought. It may be not what you expect but may just be what you need. At number 4. Written by Steve McConnell and published in 1993, Code Complete is a software development book that urges developers to get past code and fix programming and the big design upfront waterfall model. It is also a compendium of software construction techniques, from naming variables to deciding when to write a subroutine and a must-read. You surely do have an advantage if you read this book, as only a small percentage of software developers end up reading this book. At number 5. The Mythical Man Month, Essays on Software Engineering is a book on software engineering and project management by Fred Brooks, whose central theme is that adding manpower to a late software project makes it later. It is disastrous that year after year, we are making the same mistakes in software development. This is a must-read for every project manager and developer. At number 6. Written by object expert Martin Fowler, this book shows how refactoring can make object-oriented code simpler and easier to maintain. Today, refactoring requires significant design know-how, but once tools become available, all programmers should be able to improve their code using refactoring techniques. Even though all code examples given in the book are in Java, this is a must-read book for those who want to know how to improve your existing code. Refactoring is sure to be essential reading for anyone who writes or maintains object-oriented software. At number 7. In this book, author Michael Feathers offers start-to-finish strategies for working more effectively with large, untested legacy code bases. The material Michael used in this book are from works created for his renowned object mentor seminars, the techniques he has used in mentoring to help hundreds of developers, technical managers, and testers to bring their legacy systems under control. This book also includes a catalog of 24 dependency-breaking methods that help you work with program elements in isolation and make safer changes. At number 8. Written by Tom DeMarco and Timothy R. Lister, this book is not about programming but about managing and motivating programmers. It should be read by developers too. Software development is a creative process. But most managers treat it as assembly line process. Developers are seen as substitutable devices in the machine. Generally, managers see giving tight deadlines as the only way to increase motivation. Peopleware shows you how to cultivate teams that are healthy and productive. At number 9. This is perhaps the most non-technical looking book on programming that has a woman on the cover page. Each page contains doodles, pictures and other eye-catching stuff. The book covers a core topic about programming, which is design patterns. While the book only covers every pattern that you might need to solve real-world problems, it also helps you create functional, graceful, reusable, and flexible software. The trade-off for each patterns have been clearly pointed out. Also, the authors of this book also explain the why and the how. At number 10. This book is a unique guide to a well-rounded, satisfying life as a technology professional. It's about your career, life, body, mind, and soul as well. If you follow the suggestions in this book, not just as a programmer, but as your whole self, it will help make you a better programmer, a more valuable employee, and a happier, healthier person.